Welcome to the deep dive. We're diving into the world of SEO. The Gus did Georgia style. You've given us some great material on DBL07 Consulting. Mm -hmm. yeah. And let me tell you, yeah. they are not messing around when it comes to helping local businesses get found online. It's fascinating, isn't it? They've really tapped into how SEO isn't some generic, right. one-size-fits-all thing. Yeah, It's about understanding the heartbeat of a city like Augusta. The first thing that jumped out at me from DBL07's material. Okay. They're not just trying to trick the Google machine. Mm -hmm. They're all about visibility the right way. Yeah. It's like they're saying, look, you could have the most amazing DDQ joint in town, but if nobody can find it online. You're just smoking in the dark. And that's where they connect the dots so well. Right. DBLs or seven got this whole approach, organic SEO, local SEO, even uh, web design. Yeah. They're not just throwing darts at a board. They're crafting this whole online experience. And they really hammered home that local SEO point. Yeah. Which makes total sense, right? Yeah, absolutely. Someone searching for, say, best dog groomer near Somerville. Right. They're not going to drive in from Atlanta. Exactly. DBLs or seven even had these examples of hyper local searches like emergency HVAC repair near Augusta University. Oh, wow. Imagine you're sweating it out in a dorm room. You need that fix now and you're pulling out your phone. If a business isn't showing up for those Augusta specific searches, they're missing out big time. It's like they're invisible. So walk me through this. How does a business, especially in a unique market like Augusta, actually make themselves findable? Well, DBL07 is huge on Google My Business. Okay. They said for some businesses, nailing your GMB profile can mean a 70% jump in foot traffic. It's like the difference between someone glancing at your storefront and saying meh <laughs> versus seeing all these glowing reviews, your hours, maybe even a tempting photo of what you're selling. And suddenly they're hooked. Okay, so Google My Business, that's one piece of the puzzle. What else did DBL07 highlight? They're really big on this idea of local citations. You see, a... Google loves consistency. Right. It's like they're playing detective, piecing together clues about whether your business is legit and deserves to be recommended. Yeah. So every time your business name, address, and phone number are listed correctly on another website. It's like another piece of evidence saying, this business is the real deal. Exactly. Yelp, TripAdvisor, even those niche directories specific to Augusta, the more consistent you are, the more Google trusts you. And DBL07 emphasized that this is especially crucial in a place like Augusta, where word of mouth is still king. Because, let's face it, we Augustans love our local businesses. Absolutely. But it's got to be more than just where you're listed, right? Yeah, yeah. What about the actual content on your website? Oh, DBL07 is adamant about this. Gone are the days of just stuffing your website with keywords like Augusta and BBQ. Yeah. It's all about creating content that resonates with what Augustans are searching for. Okay, give me an example. How do you make content that's music to a local's ears? Well, imagine you're a restaurant owner here in Augusta. Instead of just saying, we have outdoor seating, mm -hmm. you could write a blog post about the top five patios for enjoying Augusta spring blooms. Oh, I like it. Or maybe, leading up to Master's Week, right. you create a guide for navigating Augusta's best bites during the tournament. So it's about tapping into what people are already excited about, but giving it that local spin. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to see why DBL's 07 is so successful here. Yeah. They really get Augusta. They do. And here's another thing they're passionate about, mobile-first website design. Okay, so that just means making sure your website works on a phone, right? It's more than that. Think about it this way. You're on the go, Okay. maybe waiting for your tea time at the National, oh. and you're trying to find a good lunch spot nearby. Right. If a restaurant's website takes forever to load on your phone, oh. or you have to pinch and zoom just to read the menu. You're moving on to the next option. Exactly. Right. DBL07 argues that for a lot of businesses, especially in a tech-savvy city like Augusta, right. you've got to think mobile first. That means fast loading speeds, easy navigation, right. and a layout that looks just as good on a phone as it does on a desktop. It's like the difference between showing up to a business meeting in a wrinkled suit versus looking sharp and ready to impress. Oh, yeah. You've got to make a good first impression. They couldn't have said it better themselves. And you know what else makes a great impression? Positive online reviews. Yes. DBL07 is big on this. Mm -hmm. And frankly, so am I. I mean, yeah. how often do you check reviews before trying a new restaurant or shop? All the time. It's like asking a friend for a recommendation. Right. 
Right. But on a larger scale. Exactly. And in a city like Augusta, where local businesses thrive on their reputation, right. online reviews are digital gold. Oh, yeah. DBL07 even said that responding to reviews, right. even the negative ones, wow, can be a game changer. Because it shows you care, right? You're not just yeah. ignoring feedback. You're engaging with it. Exactly. It's like they say, feedback is a gift, even if it comes wrapped in a bit of digital frustration sometimes. All right. So we've talked about making your business visible, the Google My Business profile, local citations, mobile-friendly design. But what about the actual words people are typing into the search bar? Ah, yes. Keywords. DBL07 is all about what they call location-specific long-tail keywords. Basically, it means getting laser-focused with your keyword strategy. Give me an example. Paint me a picture with this whole location-specific long-tail keyword thing. So imagine you're a bakery here in Augusta known for your incredible cupcakes. Okay. Instead of just targeting the keyword cupcakes, which could be anyone in the world, right. you'd go after phrases like best custom cupcakes in Augusta GA or vegan cupcake delivery near me in Augusta. So it's about thinking like a local, searching like a local, and ultimately speaking directly to those potential customers in Augusta who are already craving what you're baking. You got it. It's about meeting your customers where they are online and in Augusta, and DBL07's approach to data blew me away. Okay. They're not just about guessing or going with their gut. They're all about using those hard numbers right. to see what's working, what needs tweaking. Okay, so walk me through this. Okay. We've all heard the phrase, data is king. Yeah. But how does DBL07 data actually use it to help businesses here in Augusta. They love tools like Google Search Console and Google Analytics. Okay. It's like having a backstage pass to see how people are interacting with your website. Right. Are they finding you on the first page of Google? Are they clicking on your latest blog post about the best patios for enjoying Augusta's spring weather? Okay, so we're not just talking about vanity metrics here. It's about getting those insights that actually make a difference for the business. Exactly. And DBL07 uses this data to refine their strategies. Okay. For example, let's say they notice that a certain blog post about, say, yeah. the best places to watch the fireworks over the Savannah River is getting a ton of traffic in June and July. They might say, hey, let's promote this even more next year. Right. Maybe even create a video to go with it. Oh, I liked it. Or if they see people bouncing off a certain page, like your online ordering system. So they're leaving without ordering. Yeah, they're like, this is too hard, I'm out of here. Right. Gotta figure out why. Yeah, you gotta redesign, Stat. Precisely. It's about making data-driven decisions to improve your online presence right, yes. and your bottom line. Speaking of which, one thing that really resonated with me from DBL07's material, was their focus on not just getting more clicks, right? but the right kind of clicks. Yeah, you know, yeah. The clicks that actually translate into customers walking through the door. Absolutely. They call it turning clicks into customers. I love it. It's one thing to rank high on Google, but it's another thing entirely to convert those visitors into paying customers. So how do you bridge that gap? Okay. How do you make sure those clicks actually count? That's where understanding your target audience is key. DBL07 says you need to know who you're talking to, what their pain points are, and how your business can provide a solution. Okay, so let's say you're that bakery owner we talked about earlier. Okay. The one with the incredible cupcakes. Yeah. How do they use SEO to not just get people clicking on their website, right. but actually placing an order? Well, first, they need to make sure they're showing up for those high intent keywords like custom cake order Augusta or, or cupcake delivery downtown Augusta. Right. They might even create specific pages tailored to those searches. Oh, smart. But it goes beyond that. They need to make sure their website is a joy to use, okay. especially on a phone, right? because nobody's ordering a dozen cupcakes from a website that takes five minutes to load. No way. Right. And once you've got them on your website, you need to wow them. Okay. Mouth-watering photos of your cupcakes, glowing customer testimonials, yes. and a seamless ordering process. You want to make it as easy as possible to click that Add to Cart button. So it's like DBL07 is saying, yes, SEO is important, but it's not everything. You've got to back it up with a fantastic product or service right. and an online experience that makes people want to come back for more. Spot on. They understand that SEO is just one piece of the puzzle. This has been eye-opening. Good. But before we wrap up, okay. I've got to ask, what about the future of SEO? What trends should businesses in Augusta be paying attention to in the next year or two? That's a great question. 
The world of SEO is constantly evolving, so it's crucial to stay ahead of the curve. Right. One major trend that DBL07 highlighted is the rise of voice search. Oh, yeah. More and more people are using their voices to search. Right. Whether it's asking Siri for directions or telling Alexa to order a pizza. Exactly. And this shift of voice search has big implications for SEO. Right. People use more natural conversational language when they're speaking right. than when they're typing. So instead of searching for best pizza Augusta, they might say, hey, Siri, what are some good pizza places near me? So it's not just about keywords anymore. It's about understanding how people actually talk. Right. Businesses need to optimize their websites and content for these longer, more conversational search queries. Okay. They also need to make sure their websites are mobile friendly since voice searches are often done on the go. So if I'm hearing you correctly, it's not enough to just have a website that looks pretty. Yeah. It needs to be fast, functional, and optimized for how people are actually searching. Yes. In 2024 and beyond. You got it. DBL07 stresses that user experience is more important than ever. Okay. Google wants to serve up websites that provide a positive experience. So factors like page speed, right. mobile friendliness, right. and intuitive navigation are crucial. It's like they always say, content is king, but user experience is queen. Love it. Another trend that DBL07 touched on is the growing importance of video content. That makes sense. It feels like everyone and their grandmother is on TikTok these days. Right. But how does video play into SEO, especially for local businesses in Augusta? Well, for starters, yeah, Google loves video. Incorporating videos into your website and social media can help you rank higher in search results. Okay. But it goes beyond that. Okay. Video is incredibly engaging. Right. And it allows you to connect with your audience on a deeper level. Okay. Imagine a local restaurant owner here in Augusta yeah. creating a behind the scenes video tour of their kitchen. Okay. Or a boutique owner showcasing their latest arrivals right. in a fun, shareable format. It's like bringing your business to life in a way that static images and text just can't quite capture. Exactly. You know, it strikes me DDL07 is like more than just an SEO company. Yeah. They're kind of like storytellers, you yeah. know, oh, I've, helping uh, businesses in Augusta figure out how to tell their story online. That's a great way to put it. Right. Because people connect with stories. Yeah. And in a place like Augusta, right. where, you know, history and community are so important. Yeah. That human element, it's huge. It's like they're saying, yeah, we can get you to the top of Google. Right. But, but we can also help you show everyone why your business matters to Augusta. Yes. Showcasing your personality, your connection to the community. Right. What makes you passionate about your business? You can't just like fake that with keywords. No way. Right. It has to be genuine. Yeah. And that's what I love about DBL07. Okay. They sincerely want to see Augusta businesses thrive. Yeah. They get the challenges. They see the opportunities here. Right. And they're using their expertise to really make a difference. It sounds like the perfect mix of like serious skills and, you know, that Southern charm. Absolutely. That good old Southern hospitality. Right. They're like that tech savvy friend who also has all the best local recommendations. This deep dive has been amazing. It's been fun. We've covered so much from yeah. Google My Business to video, you know, the whole nine yards. Yeah. So as we wrap up here, okay. what's the one thing you want our listeners to remember from all of this? SEO is not a passive thing. You got to be involved. Experiment, you know, right. learn as you go, adapt. Yeah. But the most important thing is to remember. Oh, it's yeah. all about connecting with people in the end. Right. No algorithm can replace that. So well said. Thank you. To all our listeners out there running your businesses, whether yeah. it's BBQ, boutiques, whatever it is, mm -hmm. remember your online presence. Mm. That's your chance to tell your story yeah. to Augusta and to the world. That's right. Make it count. Absolutely. And don't be afraid to get some help. Find someone who gets you and gets Augusta. That's the key. Until next time, keep exploring and keep diving deep.